Okay, so first we are going to first topic here problems on ages. I think very, very, very dead easy. Okay, somebody using this topic formulas, but I'm not using any formulas in this topic. Okay, so I think we can go to solve the problem just one minute below. I think. Okay, so we are going to solve definitely each and every problem two to five minutes. Definitely two to five minutes. If you are interested, then we are going to solve definitely five minutes. Only one problem, definitely we are going to solve two to five. Okay, so before going to the topic, guys, two points are very, very important. The first point is ratio. First point is ratio. For example, guys, 10 rupees is to 100 liters. What is the ratio, guys? Anyone? One is to 10. Very good. One is to 10. Good, but wrong answer. Why? Anyone, guys? So 10 rupees is to 100 liters. Here is given 10 rupees. Here is given 100 liters. How can you calculate rupees and liters? Right? Okay. Ratio means two quantities. So 10 rupees is one quantity. 100 lit 100 liters is one quantity. For example, 10 rupees, 100 rupees. The answer is one is to 10. So 10 liters, 100 liters. The answer is one is to 10. So ratio means two quantities are same units is called the ratio. Ratio means two quantities are same units is called the ratio. For example, A comma B, two quantities ratio is A is to B or A by B is same. For example, two is to three or two by three is same. Okay, just remember first point guys, what is the ratio? Two quantities are same units is called the ratio. Just remember. So in ratio and proportions in clear explanation, but it topic in the work also explanation, right? Okay. And coming to the second point is proportion. The proportion means two ratios are equal. A is to B is one ratio, and C is to D is another ratio. Two ratios are equal, it's called the proportion. The proportion formation is AD is equal to BC. It's a very, very important, guys. If you are going to basic method, definitely we are using proportion. Okay. For example, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4 comma, 6. Find out the proportion. For example, A, B, C, and D. What is the proportion formation? AD is equal to BC. Then 2 into 6 is equal to 3 into 4. 2 6 is 12. 3, uh, 3 4 is 12. 12 is equal to 12. It is a proportion or not? Yes, it is a proportion. For example, 12 is equal to 10. It is a proportion? No, it is not a proportion. The proportion means two ratios are equal is called the proportion. The proportion formation is AD is equal to BC. Is it clear, guys, all of you? Any doubts regarding these two points? What is the ratio? What is the proportion? Is it clear, all of you? If you are perfect in fundamentals, total entity chapter is very, 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 very ladies. Got my point, all of you? Okay, so any doubts regarding online students? Any doubts? Okay, and next, coming to the next point, guys. So think generally, guys, total entity chapter, think generally. Okay, so total entity chapter, no formulas. For example, present my age is 30 years. Think generally, guys. Okay, present my age is 30 years. Five years ago, five years ago, my age was how much? Yes, very good. 25. Okay. So same example I'm taking here. Present my age is 30 years. So five years before my age was how much? 25 years. It means ago or before means minus. We are subtracting here. Right. So I'm taking same example. Present my age is 30 years. After 10 years, my age will be how much, guys? 40 years. Very good. Okay. I'm taking same example. Present my age is 30 years. 10 years hence, my age will be 40 years. In this topic, after or hence means plus, ago or before means minus. Just remember these two points, guys. Ago or before means minus, after or hence means plus. Just remember. 
ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल गाइस टू पर्सन ए एंड बी द प्रेजेंट सम एज इज सिक्सटी इयर्स टू पर्सन ए एंड बी द प्रेजेंट सम एज इज सिक्सटी इयर्स फाइव इयर्स ए गो देर एज एस वॉज हाउ मच प्रेजेंट सर फिफ्टी फाइव ओके सो प्रॉब्लम इनको सर क्लियर के बने Present A and B, the sum age is sixty years. Five years ago, their ages was how much? Fifty. Yes, very good. For example, A is myself and B is yourself. Na age decrease aite me age kuda decrease out. Na age increase aite me age kuda increase out. And so na ko five years, me ko kuda five years. Total how many years deducted? Ten years. Sixty minus ten is how much? Fifty years. Okay, five years ago, their ages was how much? Fifty years. Is it clear, guys? All of you. In previous example, my present age. It means only one person. But here is two person A and B. Next, one more example. Three persons A, B, C. Three persons. The present sum age is sixty years. After three years, their ages will be how much? Sixty nine. Very good, super. So A key three years, B key three years, C key three years. Total, how many years increasing? Nine years increasing. Sixty plus nine, sixty-nine years. Just remember, ago or before means minus, after or hence means plus. Any doubts regarding these two points? No. Okay. And coming to the last two points, guys. Okay. Twice problems and thrice problems. For example, first with the first statement, father age is. Three times the age of his son. Father age is three times the age of his son. So first we are going to basic method, guys. Son age is we don't know. Let x. Son age means kill son. We don't know. Let x. Father is how many times? Three times. X into three, three x. Then formation is three x is to x. Okay. For example, if you are going to shortcut method, guys. Okay, son ages we don't know. Let one. Okay, if doubt raha, sir, one ne endu this counter sir, ten this coach kada, this coach no problem, sir, ten ne endu this counter sir, hundred this coach kada, this coach ne, sir, two endu this coach sir, this coach. You can take any number, no problem, guys. Finally, we will get them same answer. Okay, for example, son ages we don't know. Let one. Father is how many times? Three times. One into three, three. Okay, for example, son ages ten years. Father is how many times? Three times. Ten into three, thirty. Okay. For example, son age we are taking here two years. Father is how many times? Three times. Two into three, six. For example, son age is hundred years. Okay. Father is how many times? Three times. Hundred into three, three hundred. Okay. So let me calculate, guys. Okay. So father and son. Father is three parts. Son is one part. Three is to one. That is the formation. For example, you are taking son age ten years. Okay, so zero zero cancel. Then final answer here three is to one. For example, we are taking son is two years. Then two ones are and two threes are. Then answer is three is to one. You are taking son is hundred years. So two zero two zero cancel. So remaining answer is three is to one. You can take any value. Finally, we will get the same answer. Got my point, all of you? So, for example, I am going to shortcut method. Son is we don't know. Let one and and the one and we get out of our mind. Is it clear, all of you? Yes. Okay. And coming to the next point. So, father is aged three times more than his son. So, father is aged three times more than his son. First, I am going to basic method here. Son ages we don't know. Let x. Father is how many times? Three times. X into three, three x. More. More means adding. More means adding. More than his son. Son ages how much? X. So 3x plus x is how much? 4x is to x. It is a formation. Okay. For example, you are going to shortcut method. Son ages we don't know. Let one. Father is how many times? Three times. One into three, three. Okay. So more, more means adding. More than his son. Son ages how much? One. Three plus one, four. The formation is three is to sorry, four is to one. Is it clear, guys? All of you. So any doubts regarding these two points? If you doubt, travel me. So, sir, we didn't say twice. Thrice, matter me. Chapter five times, rava, ten times, rava, twenty times, rava, and also in the problem. Sir. Same formation. For example, five times, sir, could not mean. Son ages, we don't know. Let one. Father is how many times? Five times. One into five, 
five. That is the formation. Five is to one. For example, ten times. Sun is we don't know. Let one. Father is how many times? Ten times. So one into ten. Ten. Ten is to one. That is the formation. Is it clear, all of you? Yes. If you are perfect in these six points, first point is what is the ratio, and second point is what is the proportion, and third point is ego or before means minus, and fourth point is after or hence means plus. Okay. And twice problems, twice problems. If you are perfect in these six points, total end of the chapter is very, very, very dead easy, guys. Got my point, all of you? Yes. Okay. First, coming to the first question here. So, first little question, guys, all of you. The ratio of the present ages of A and B is four is to five. After five years, there will be the ratio of five is to six. Find the present age of A is. Okay. First, I am going to basic method, guys. Here. Okay. First, the given ratio here. A is to B is equal to how much, guys? Four is to five. It means A is how many parts? Four parts. B is how many parts? Five parts. So their ages we don't know. Let x, guys. Their ages we don't know. Let x. Then four x is to five x. No change, Andy. Say yes or no? Yes. Okay. Read the next statement. After five years. After means plus, right? After means plus. Then four x plus five is to 5x plus 5. Okay. After 5 years, the ratio is how much? 5 is to 6. Okay. So, for example, A and B and C and D look like a proportion. What is the proportion formation? AD is equal to BC. And 6 into 4x plus 5 is equal to 5 into 5x plus 5. Let me calculate. 6 for the 24x, 6 fives are 30, 5 fives are 25x, again 5 fives are 25. 25x minus 24x is how much? X. Okay. 30 minus 25 is how much? 5. X value is how many years? 5 years. Find out the present age of A. A is how many parts here? 4 parts, right? Then 4 into X value is how much? 5. 4 fives are 20. Which option is the right answer? Option A is the right answer. This is the basic method. Okay. So any doubts regarding this basic method? No. So basic method taking at least two to three minutes time. I think it's a waste of time. Okay. I want to answer just within fraction of seconds are without pen. Got my point all of you? Yes. For example, I'm going to shortcut method here. Second method. So the given information A is to B is how much? 4 is to 5. After five years, the ratio is how much? Five is to six. Okay. After anna ego anna same shortcut work for totality. Okay. The first step is here cross multiplication. Six four is twenty four. Five five is twenty five. Difference is how much? One, not a minus one. Okay. So for example, my age is fifty years. Your age is twenty years. So difference is how much? Thirty years, right? So not a minus thirty. Yes. Sir. So not a minus 30, right? We are checking only difference, right? Okay. So this is the first step. What is the first step? Cross multiplication. Check the difference. And coming to the second step, check the second ratio difference. What is the second ratio here? 5 is to 6. Difference is how much? 1. Okay. That is second step. And third step is step, step 2. Sorry, one second. <clears throat> third step is multiplication into step 2 difference by step 1 difference. Find out the present age of A. So A is how many parts here? Four parts. After how many years? Five years. Five four is 20 into. Okay. So step two difference is how much? One. By step one difference is how much? One. Then is equal to A age is how much? 20 years. Which option is the right answer? Option A is the right answer. So this is a shortcut. What is the first step here? Cross multiplication. Check the difference. Second step. Check the second ratio difference. And third step, multiplication into step two difference by step one difference. So five fours are 20. It is a multiplication. Step two difference is how much? One. Step one difference is how much? One. Then is equal to how much answer? 20. So this process also taking at least one or two minutes time. I think it's a waste of time. I want to answer just within fraction of seconds are without pen. Okay. So any doubts regarding the shortcut method? Any doubts? Okay. And coming to the 
substitution method we are going to options to question guys okay so a is to b the ratio is how much 4 is to 5 after 5 years the age ratio is how much 5 is to 6 first option is 20 second option is 30 fourth third option is 41 now which option is the right answer look at the screen guys find out the present age of a present a is how many parts four parts after five years a is how many parts five parts what is the first option here 20 20 is a multiples of four yes 20 is a multiples of four four five is a 20 after after five years after means plus 20 plus 5 25 25 is a multiples of 5 yes 5 5 is a 25 that's why first option is the right answer I think no need pen and paper guys so name me explain share like a ticket you see some pen and paper but in exam point of view Miru every key explain JC to pick us also on under I think no need right okay so check the remaining options also 30 30 is a multiples of 4 no that's why wrong option coming to the next option so 41 41 is a multiples of 4 no that's why wrong option <coughs> Okay, so what is the first option here? 20. 20 is a multiple of 4. Yes, 4, 5 is a 20. After 5 years, after means plus 20 plus 5, 25. 25 is a multiple of 5. Yes, 5, 5 is a 25. That's why first option is the right answer. I think no need pen and paper only. So, name me explain share with pen and paper use yes number. Same question only. Find out the present age, present age of A. Present A is how many parts? Four parts. After 5 years, A is how many parts? Five parts. What is the first option here? Twenty. Okay. So in the going to rotate out in thirty seconds time. So oh, check check them. So find out the present age of A. Right. First option is twenty. So twenty is a multiples of four. Yes. Four five is a twenty. After five years, twenty plus five, twenty five. Twenty five is a multiples of five. Yes. Five five is a twenty five. That's why first option is the right answer. And the time on Inka. 23 seconds in the save chase 30 seconds but my point all of you so 30 seconds below any problem and solve chase and alan chip and the problem solve chase and no one but one minute of solve chase and in the problem in a cell okay so for example seating arrangement data and prediction kill and the problems on day yes sir one minute let us all miss some sir and a doubt route challenge so for example seating arrangement problem one problem is called how many marks five marks Okay, so a fuzzy man of salt jails need two minutes of salt chair. Okay, so one minute lemon answer salt chair and five questions will die. Five questions to answer sir. answers depending on diagram only. So if five questions go one minute answers per each man, diagram you see. In the remaining two minutes, save chess. Five questions to manamo. Okay, we are using only three minutes. But my point all of you. So first question, any doubts regarding first question? Can you doubt in the organ? Okay, so remaining problems are need maybe difficulty problem either we are using pen and paper. Otherwise, without pen the solve just come What my point all of you? Okay, for example, if you are preparing for any exam, guys, so basic method, so shortcut method, and option verification method. Okay, so option verification method only working 20 percentage. Only 20. For example, total question 30 questions I did, 30 questions load 10 questions working. So option verification and coming to the end questions only shortcut method matter me work out and it means only 50 percent is matter me shortcut method work out so remaining 10 questions are definitely we are going to so basic method and it's a difficulty questions means and so problem at 100 percent basic method to solve change to shortcut method only working 50 percent option verification only working 20 percent but point all of you so I need the option verification work out of the work out of So a problem can any measures work out of the any problem any measures then explain just so done. Okay, so we can get different measures to send one chip and explain this and no issue. Is it clear all of you? Yes. Any doubts regarding first question? No. Okay. Coming to second guys, don't write what is the answer. Present age of A and B are in the ratio of 5 to 4 respectively. After three years, Ages ratio will become 11 is to 9. What is the present age of E? I think no need pen and paper. Please answer. 
none. How can you say none is the right answer? First, read the question properly. That is a minus money key. Question properly, I read chain first one. Okay, so when I'm every find out every age find out chain, find out the percentage of B. So B is how many parts? Four parts. After how many years? Three years. So after three years, so B is how many parts? Nine parts. Go through option verification. 20 is a multiples of four. Yes, four five is a 20. After how many years? Three years. 20 plus 3 is how much? 23. 23 is a multiples of 9. No, that's the first option. Is the wrong option? And move on to option B, 24. 24 is a multiples of 4. Yes, 4, 6 is a 24. After how many years? 3 years. 24 plus 3 is how much? 27. 27 is a multiples of 9. Yes, 9, 3 is a 27. That's why option B is the right answer. That is the answer. In no independent paper, right? Okay. For example, if you are going to shortcut method, so five is to four. Okay. Eleven is to nine. After how many years? Three years. What is the first step? Class multiplication. Check the difference. So nine five is a forty-five. Eleven four is a forty-four. Difference is how much? One. So eleven nine. Difference is how much? Two. Find out the present age of B. So B is how many parts here? Four parts. After how many years? Three years. Three four is a 12 into step 2 difference by step 1 difference. 12 to 24. Now, which option is the right answer? Option B is the right answer. We are going to basic method. We'll get the same answer. Is it clear all of you? Any doubts regarding this question? Okay. So, anyone guys, any doubts? Now, online students? Any doubts? Okay. And move on to next question. What is the answer, guys? Fast, fast. Use pen and paper, fast chapter send it without pen. What is the answer? The ratio of the present ages of two brothers is one is to two. And five years back, the ratio was one is to three. What will be the ratio of their ages after five years? Pen no paper this code fast fast all chidam then the board mail juice answer chip. Two process you share. Is answer three is to five. Okay. So let me check, guys. No issue. I'm going to shortcut method here. So two brothers, the ratio is how much? One is to two. So five years back, the ratio was how much? One is to three. So I go on uh, after the same shortcut. So cross multiplication, check the difference. One into three, three. One into two, two. Difference is how much? one again check the difference how much two okay first brother a first brother is how many parts one part one into five five into step two difference by step one difference so first brother age is how much 10 years next coming to the second brother a second brother is how many parts here two parts right five into two ten into step two difference by step one difference and two is a 20. second brother age is how much 20 years after five years, after five years, after means plus. So 10 plus 5, 20 plus 5. So 10 plus 5 is how much? 15. Okay, 20 plus 5 is how much? 25. Let me calculate. So 5, 3 is a and 5, 5 is a. After five years, there will be ratio is how much? The ratio is how much? 3 is to 5. We are going to basic method. We'll get the same answer, guys. Okay. So any doubts regarding this question? So next, move on to next question. The present age of father is five times the age of his son. Five years ago, the age of father was ten times the age of his son at the time. How old is father at present? How old is father at present? First, read the question properly. I think no need pen and paper. Okay, so let me check. So the given information here, father and son. Okay, so father is five times the age of his son. I'm going to shortcut with the guys here. Son ages, we don't know. Let one. Father is how many times? Five times. Okay, five is to one. After how many years? 
so five years ago sorry five years ago okay the father was 10 times the age of son at that time so five years ago also son ages we don't know let one father is how many times 10 times the ratio is how much 10 is to 1 i'm going to option verification guys here 45 50 60. okay find out the present age of father okay father present how many parts five parts so five years ago father is how many parts 10 parts what is the first option here 45 45 is a multiples of 5 yes 5 9 is a 45 so five years ago ago means minus 45 minus 5 40 so 40 is a multiples of 4 yes so 10 4 is a 40 so that's why first option is the right then further present age is how much 45 years okay so let me check remaining options also 50 50 is a multiples of 5 yes 5 tens are 50 5 years ago 50 minus 5 45 45 is a multiples of 10 no that's why for second option is the wrong option and move on to third option 60 60 is a multiples of 5 yes 5 to bells are 60 5 years ago 60 minus 5 55 55 is a multiples of 10 no that's why wrong option okay first option is the right answer. clear all of you so any doubts regarding this question if you are going to shortcut method if you are going to basic method we'll get the same answer and next one <clears throat> four years ago the ratio of the ages of a and b was two is to three and after four years it will become five is to seven find their present age find their present age what is the answer so one thing guys aptitude reasoning and the choose the answers out when patconi solve chase soon day like about thing chase and answers of say okay so in solve chase in virtual down the answer which in jeopardy like i don't know okay so many answer chip and said definitely and reason to the logic hours in there So anyone guys, what is the answer? Option C. So Paruk, okay, answer you said 40 and 56 years. Very good, but I think wrong answer. Good, very good, good attempt. Anyone? So anyone classroom students somebody saying so pradeep answer c already i told you option c is the wrong option somebody saying option d yes very good here is four options are there one option is eliminated remaining three options are there then which option is the right answer then tell okay yes somebody saying option b yes only of regarding only remaining option a is there option b yes very good how okay so listen listen <clears throat> i'm going to shortcut with the guys here so the given information two is to three okay and five is to seven listen four years ago after four years right total how many years eight years okay let me calculate after eight years listen so same remaining process same process already you know shortcut right 7 2 is a 14. So 5 3 is a 15. Difference is how much? 1. Again, check the difference. 5 7 difference is how much? 2. First, find out the yeah, present age of A. A is how many parts here? 2 parts. 8 2 is a 16 into step 2 difference by step 1 difference. So 32. A age is how much? 32. Next, coming to the B A. So B is how many parts here? 3 parts. 8 3 is a 24 into step 2 difference by step 1 difference. 42 into sorry, 24 into 2, 48. So B age is how much? B age is how much, guys? So A age is 32 years. B age is how much? 48 years. Okay. So find the present age. Okay. 
four years ago this type of problems okay answers depending on starting statement guys what is starting statement here four years ago so a age was four years ago 32 years now present age is how much 36 years okay so four years ago b age was 48 years now present age is how much 52 years okay so 36 and 52 which option is the right answer option d is the right answer. we are going to basic method we'll get the same answer is it clear all of you okay so this type of problems answers depending on starting statement for example after four years the given said for example after four years it means so after four years a age will be 32 years now present age is how much 28 years 32 minus 4 28 years like this is it clear all of you okay so then move on to the next question guys i think no need pen and paper here Harsha is 40 years old and Ritu is 60 years old. How many years ago was the ratio of their ages 3 to 5? Previous examples. So 4 years ago, 10 years ago. But here find out the how many years ago. Yes, very good. Simple, I think. So Harsha and Ritu. So Harsha is 40 years old and Ritu is 60 years old. How many years ago? Ago means minus. How many years is we don't know? Right? Let x. So the ratio is how much? 3 is to 5. Okay. So 3 is to 5. Verification check them and decrement. What is the first option here? 10. So ago means minus 40 minus 10, 30, 60 minus 10, 50. Okay. The 0, 0 cancel. Then ratio is how much? 3 is to 5. It's satisfied. It means 10 years ago, the ratio is how much? 3 is to 5. If you are all of you, for example, if you are going to basic method, so Harsha is 40 years ago minus how many years we don't know, let x okay, and Ritu is 60 years, how many years ago we don't know, let x then is equal to the ratio is 3 is to 5. Look like a proportion, look like a proportion. For the proportion formation, AD is equal to BC, find out the value, no problem. We'll get the same answer. Okay, so any doubts regarding this question? Online students, any doubts regarding this question? The ratio of the ages of two persons is four is to seven, and the age of one of them is greater than that of the other by 30 years. The sum of their ages is. First, read the question properly. I think no need pen and paper. What is the answer? Yes, very good. How can you say 110 is the right answer? Good, good, good. Very good. Yes, very good. For example, my age is seven parts. Your age is four parts. So difference is how many parts? Three parts. Difference is how many parts? Three parts. In three parts, difference is how much? 30 years, right? Okay. So for example, four is to seven. So difference is how much? How many parts? Three parts. Three parts is equal to how many years? 30 years for example three students total 30 chocolates each student getting how many chocolates 10 chocolates okay it means so three ones are three tens are one part is called how many years 10 years find out the both age okay first person is four parts 10 into 4 40 second person is seven parts 7 into 10 70 70 plus 40 is how much one any under illa solve case center and at illa solve case why Okay, listen, guys. So only greater than problems, guys. Only greater than problems. Okay, just simply add the given ratio. Simply add the given ratio. Four plus seven, eleven. Eleven related answer here. One. Ten. That is the answer. Only greater than problems, guys. So a technique is called analytic approach. This answer will be passed. Check for any other. Okay, just apply only greater than problems. Just add simply add the given ratio and check the so related answer. That my point all of you okay yes very good any doubts regarding this question okay and next one <clears throat> the sum of so the sum of ages of five children born at the intervals of three years each is 50 years what is the age of the youngest child what is the age of the youngest child i think no independent paper Think generally, you'll get the answer. So, 
so anyone which option is the right answer so yes four years very good very good super for example first child age is we don't know let x guys first child age is we don't know let x each child age between how many years gap three years gap right okay second child age is how much x plus three third child age is how much x plus six fourth child age is how much x plus nine so fifth oh, sorry yes fifth child age is how much x plus 12 each child each child between gap is how many years three years first child age is we don't know let x second child age is x plus three third child age is x plus six fourth child age is how much x plus nine fifth child age is how much x plus 12 the total age is how much 50 years total means sum okay so one two three four five then five x plus so 12 plus 9 21 21 plus 6 27 27 plus 3 30 then is equal to 50 so 50 minus 30 is how much 20 so 5 ones are 5 fours are x is equal to how many years four years find out the youngest child youngest child is how many years four years that's why option b is the right answer is your guys all of you okay so first child age is we don't know let x guys each child between gap is how many years three years it means second child age is how much x plus three third child age is how much x plus six fourth child age is how much x plus nine fifth child age is how much x plus two the sum age is how much here 50 years is it clear all of you i think no need pen and paper and okay we can explain here but i think no need pen and paper okay any doubts regarding this question Okay, so can I ask one general question, guys? All of you? Say, sir, no. Yes. Are you perfect in additions? Say, sir, no. And that two small, small numbers. For example, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 5, 5 plus 11, like these numbers. So, be under key additions, Ravan approaches. Okay, let me check, guys. No issue. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 11 13 15 only small numbers right yes so 15 you can use any five numbers exactly guys you can use any five numbers exactly numbers are repeated no problem for example five is five times not a problem okay but exactly five number no four numbers no six numbers use exactly five numbers the sum is 30 how only addition no subtraction no multiplication no division and how you can use any five numbers the sum is 30 numbers are repeated no problem then how okay so let me check no issue guys okay now this session explain yes or not a problem okay yes very good it is the first of all it is a stupid question why okay listen the reason is odd number is equal to the result is odd number right so two odd numbers the result is even number for example three plus five a it is an even number okay same like this three odd numbers the sum is odd number right and four odd numbers the result is even number five odd numbers the result is odd number 30 is a even number odd number even number marilla was an answer that's why it's stupid question eh? and if you saw good answer rather than you got to get one on time is student yeah and they got a thing just a now who rather than look into that definitely answer that like, definitely got to go okay we'll get the answer guys no issue so i'm using here three so then three plus three plus three plus three plus three one two three four five exactly five numbers right so three factorial three factorial three factorial three factorial three factor three factor is how much six five six uh, 30. Ever, ever answer thirty answer good good very good then tell me answer i am three times as old as my son 15 years since i will be twice as old as my son the sum of our ages is sum of our ages is 
first find out the my age and my son age then find out the sum age what is the first statement here i am three times as old as my son my son age is i don't know let one i'm going to shortcut method here okay yes very good somebody saying 60 years very good super so i am how many times three times one into three three next 15 years hence hence means plus i will be twice as old as my son 15 years hence also my son age is i don't know let one i am how many times two times twice means two times okay so go through option verification first option is 60 second option is 40 third option is 30 okay find out the sum age listen guys so my age is present three parts okay my son age is how much one part three plus one is how much four parts right after 15 years my age is two parts my son age is how many parts one part so two plus one three parts find out the sum age right okay go through option verification first option is 16 60 is a multiple of 4 15 4 is a 60 very good and next 60 is a multiple of 3 yes 320 is 60 that's why first option is the right go through second option 40 40 is a multiple of 4 yes 4 tens are 40 40 is a multiple of 3 no that's why wrong option option b and go to 30 30 is a multiple of 4 no so that's why wrong option. is it clear all of you for example if you are going to shortcut method you'll get the same answer 15 years what is the first step cross multiplication one into three three one into two two difference is how much one two one difference is how much one first find out the my age i am how many parts three parts 15 three is a 45 don't write guys here step two difference by step one difference because step two difference is how much one step one difference is how much one i think your time is right okay find out the my son a my son is how many parts one part so after how many years 15 years one into five so one into 15 15 okay my son age is 15 years my age is 45 years the sum is how much 60 years is it clear all of you okay so any doubts regarding this question For example, if you are going to basic method, we'll get the same answer. Okay. So anyone, any doubts regarding this question? Okay. So guys, anyone, any doubts regarding today's session? No, sir. Okay. So, okay, guys, then thank you. I will meet tomorrow.